Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, since I've completed the special event, All or Nothing, and won this incredible hypercar Koenigsegg Yesco, let's check out the single bonus series that is currently included in the game called The Winner Takes It All. And you can find it in Road Collection under Season 1. If you slide over a couple of tabs, okay, one more. There it is. The winner takes all, featuring a couple of other Koenigsegg hypercars, namely Agera RS and Agera R. It's like that, uh, didn't we have another bonus series called like Angel Holmes? Um, advancement or something like that that also featured uh, another group of conic eggs right so well I suppose we got a new car so we need a new series there we go so let's uh, check it out all right the winner takes it all a battle between automobiles three hypercars hit the track for the ultimate clash of the conic eggs all right, should be an interesting series. It's gonna be a 20 tier series with the total rewards uh, adding up to be some 79 gold. The first 25% completion of that being uh, 10 gold and 10,000 racing dollars. Basically it's another series, uh, 20 tier series featuring three cars, which means uh, there are 51 events total, 48 trophy events, and three time trials. So it turns out to be, assuming that you own all three cars, first 25% comp completion would be like completing 12 gold trophies plus one time trial which you can complete in tier six and that will require um pr 81.5 i think um and then of course with the showcase tiers because they don't require any pr requirement you know more cars you own obviously further you can unlock the series but anyway so um 20 uh that's so that's a 25 percent completion and 50 percent completion which pays additional 15 gold and fifteen thousand racing dollars uh will require you to complete 24 gold trophies and two time trials which would land you somewhere around tier 11 and for that you're gonna need pr 86.1 and uh yeah i mean the thing is as you can see with the 18 trophies you can unlock the series and 21 trophies you can unlock the next one with the 24 trophies actually you can unlock all the way into tier 13 so there will be more events that you should be able to complete a bit further than just uh you know stopping at tier 11 but anyway um, roughly PR 86.1 is what I will s state it for the time being as I play through obviously we'll have a better idea on exactly what the PR requirement is it is gonna require it's gonna be required to complete 50% and then 75% completion which pays out another additional 21 gold in this instance plus 21,000 racing dollars requires uh winning some 36 gold trophies and completing of course all three time trials and here's the thing if you complete 36 or if you win 36 trophies you can unlock all the way to tier 19 actually um but once again i'm just gonna say like if you complete tier by tier uh, and tier 16 is about where you can claim that 75% completion. Only cup races 
because only the cup races require PR, you know, if you do two variety events and continue to unlock further series, obviously, that's why there are some variations to exact PR requirement that uh, you may need to uh, claim certain completion percentage rewards, right? So that's why I kind of say roughly. Uh, so speaking of the PR requirement for 75% completion is going to be roughly PR 93.1. And then of course, 100% completing, that's pretty straightforward. All 48 gold trophies plus three time trials complete for the remaining 33 extra gold and 33 racing dollars. Um, uh, and for that, you would need a PR 98.4, which the new Koenigsegg Yesco is the only car that can meet that PR requirement. So, um, yeah, so for each car featured, there's a showcase tier, which means if you don't own it, you will get a 20% discount on those cars. So let's uh, take a look. So car wise, we have obviously the brand new 2019 Yesco uh, with the this car base PR 84.1. I won this car from the special event. I'll have the link to the playthrough video in the description box below but uh, yeah I basically wanted the car with the 11 upgrades on board with a PR 90.2 um, that should be enough to get me at least 50% completion but let's check out the other cars because my uh, two other conic sex in my garage featured in this series are fully upgraded which means they probably have higher PR oh no what do you know? Aguera R maxed out. PR taps out at 89.4. So that's not going to get you nearly as far, but Aguera RS. I mean, Aguera R is from production year 2013. So that's almost a decade old it's at this point. So PR not as good, but Aguera RS maxed out goes up to PR 96.1. So that's enough. Uh, to get me the 75% completion and then some. So, yeah. So that will leave me essentially able to unlock just about every tier in this series. Complete almost all uh, cup races except for maybe, you know, one or two final stages. They might have a PR requirement higher than 96.1, which is what I will be able to do at the moment. But anyway, yeah. And then eventually, if they, as they generally do, a uh, couple of updates later with the car that uh, we won, we get to win or we won, they'll have us, you know, they'll offer us some 30%, 35%. 40% uh, upgrade discount and then I'll wait till they offer us that <laughs> because uh, you know I don't need to upgrade this card in order to make you know further progress in the series at least for the time being so that's that so all right and of course Aguirre RS was also a special uh, event car uh, aggress aggressive ambition was the name of the series we had the flashback event um i want to say a couple of updates ago in the season one round five or four i cannot remember but it's in there so if you didn't win the car uh, and you take advantage of the discount offer Normally the car's thousand gold worth, you can get it for eight hundred gold, and obviously you will need to put some upgrades on. This car was not that uh, Aguirre RS was not cheap to win. Um, much cheaper to win Yesco, at least in my instance. And Aguirre R, I don't remember ever having a special event for that one. In fact, that car's been in the game, I think, since the very beginning. It's a uh, 
It's the Real Racing 3 uh, OG car. So used to be one of the fastest cars in the game. Um, but since then, you know, we've got faster ones. So, um, yeah. But with that being said, a gear R, because it's been in the game for so long, even though it does not have an exclusive series, it is featured in five series, including this one. The winner takes it all, right? Uh, it's featured in another bonus series, Speed Demons in Legend section, a Zenith series. Now, that's one of the bigger box, the main career series, also in Legend section. Hypercar Charge is a bonus series, the small box, Legend series, uh, Legend section bonus series, and the Breakneck Legends, which is also another bonus series in legend section so yeah um so that's that and i'll have other uh, relevant specs about the car in the description box below so if you guys are interested you guys can check that out um and conic seg well maybe we should talk about it while looking at the car huh so that was a spec for agera r um your car probably looks slightly different than mine <laughs> mine is, is it is customized uh, agera rs um oh yeah the cost of agera r is normally 800 gold you can get it for 640 gold if you take advantage of the showcase discount and the car i believe has like whopping five hours service time yeah that's the way they used to roll with the more expensive cars. It used to take longer and the cheaper cars took less time to service. So yeah, a gear R <laughs> takes five hours to service. Kind of crazy if you think about it these days. But anyway, a gear RS, as I've mentioned, thousand gold is the cost of the car, three hour service time and, uh, you know, 20% showcase discount can bring your cost down to 800 gold it is featured in three bonus series now including this new one the winner takes it all uh angel homes advance as i've mentioned the the other bonus series that features uh you know fleet of conic eggs uh, in legend section uh full throttle free for all also in legend section uh, and uh, this car does have as you can see in that corner uh, exclusive series so yeah so that is that for this car and uh, let's check out the last one conic seg yesco sort of the star of this series yeah, it's because it's a new car, it's only featured in this single series. Only 1100 gold is the cost uh, with a showcase discount. If you miss out on the winning this car in the current version, 10.3, then a uh, showcase discount can bring it down to 880 gold, which still is pretty pricey if you ask me. But, you know, that's why I say you should try to win it because... Uh, with the status, the upgrade or PR that I have on this car, it costed me net 70 gold. 140 gold total, but of course we got 70 back as the rewards. So, you know, not so bad, right? Anyway, that is specs on cars. Let's uh, take a look at the series itself, shall we? So tier one, we got autocross at Daytona Motorcycle Course, speed snap at Porsche Test Track, uh, short on-road circuit. That's a pretty short one, the speed snap that is. And then cup at Spa. How many laps do we get to do it? Three laps to start off the series. That's a decent length. All right. And then let's continue on to tier two. What do we have? We got head-to-head -head at Hockenheim Short, just a single lapper. 
elimination at Dubai National, so obviously it's a timed event. Doesn't matter where you are, you still have to run the same amount of time, right? And tier two cup is gonna be at Red Bull Ring Grand Prix. PR 80.5 is required for this three lap cup. And uh, that PR, all three cars can do without spending any gold upgrades. Uh, with Yesco base PR being a uh, good 4 point or 3.6 PR point higher than what's required here. And then let's continue on. Tier 3, we got Endurance at Nürburgring Sprint Circuit. So um, your distance may vary depending on uh, what kind of grid you get, right? And then we got Hunter at Suzuka East. So that's a short lap. And the Cup 4 Tier 3 is going to take place under the California Sun, Laguna Seca. PR 81.5 required for this 3 lapper cup. They're all 3 lap cups so far. And that gets us to the first showcase tier featuring Conic Sec Aguera R. We got Autocross at Circuit of the Americas Club Circuit and the Cup at Melbourne. Just the single lapper. And of course, we got a time trial featuring the same car, Aguera R. This one at Bugatti Circuit. And uh, minute 11, minute 8. Yeah. Blazingly fast, right? All right, so tier 6, this is about where you can claim the 25% completion reward, right? Which is uh, 10 gold, 10,000 racing dollars, right? And uh, you don't need to complete the cup in this tier. So that's why PR requirement is, you know, the completion of tier 3 PR, 81.5. Anyway, tier 6, we got speed record at Porsche Test Track Long On-Road Circuit. Head to head at Red Bull Ring Grand Prix. Most likely a single lapper. Yep, it sure is. So those are all full lap event here. And then the cup at Bathurst Mount Panorama. PR 84.2 required for yet another three lap cup. All right, let's continue on to tier seven. We got speed snap at Nürburgring Grand Prix. Yeah, all these events at, all the variety events at Nürburgring tends to run a little long, kind of like Daytona. Daytona Daytona, and Nürburgring, both all the non-cub events tend to be a bit lengthier, like Speed Snap and Autocross, because, you know, those two events can be pretty short in certain other circuits. Well, not at Nürburgring, so... <laughs> Anyway, then we get elimination at Laguna Seca. Once again, timed event. So the venue is somewhat, you know, um, it is what it is, right? Doesn't really make that much of a difference in terms of how many service bars it will take down. Anyway, tier seven cup at Indianapolis Motor Speedway road course. PR 85 point required for yet another three lap cup. They're all three lap cups, aren't they? So far they have been. All right, that gets us to tier eight where we got a drag race. And it's gonna be at Catalonia Grand Prix circuit. Does it really matter where it takes place? Ah, uh, really minimal difference if you ask me. Anyway, then we got autocross at Suzuka Grand Prix. Where does that one take place? That one takes place, uh, let's see, at the end of the S's, right? And is where it starts and it ends a little after the that hairpin that comes after the, after you go past under the bridge, right? So, all right, that's a kind of a fun autocross. And then the cup for tier eight, Berlin. The Formula E circuit, 
PR86.1 required for yet another, you guessed it, three lap cup. And that gets us to the next showcase tier, tier 9, featuring Agera RS. Alright, for the showcase we got Hunter at Monza Road Course. So that's a full lap. And the cup at the Dynamic Circuit. That's a curious choice for this car. A Porsche Test Track. And that's going to be four laps. Alright, that's a like circuit with one of the circuits with the slowest um, average speed generally because it's so technical. You know, not many long straights for you to really uh, open up that throttle, you know. Anyway, then we got, of course, the time trial tier featuring Aguera RS. And this one's going to be a Circuit of the Americas Grand Prix Circuit. Looks like uh, minute 30, minute 26. All right. That's a fun one. Circuit of the Americas. Anyway, tier 11. This uh, is where you can claim 50% completion reward if you're just like completing um, tier by tier without skipping any events. Because you will have, by the time you get this point, you would have further tiers uh, unlocked if you completed those showcase tiers, right? Assuming that you own the car. Um, anyway, so tier 11, we got Endurance at the Brickyard, Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Once again, your distance may vary. Followed by Head to Head at Mount Panorama, Single Lapper. Followed by the Cup at Hockenheim National, PR 86.1 required uh, for this four lap cup. Ooh, now we got, uh, we're on to extra lap here. All right, continuing on, tier 12, we got Elimination at Berlin, and we got Speed Snap at Bugatti Circuit. And the Cup S Suzuka Grand Prix, PR 90.2 required. So that's a bit of a leap in PR requirement, isn't it? From tier 11 at 86.1 to tier 12 at 90.2. And, yep, now we're running four lap cups here. So, all right. Moving on, tier 13, we got Hunter at Red Bull Ring National Circuit, so that's a short lap. Autocross at Catalunya Grand Prix. Um, that one starts right... Um, no, where does that one start? I want to say that one starts a little before that uh, hairpin. And ends after you exit the, the bus stop chicane. The second to last set of corners, I want to say. <laughs> I cannot remember. But anyway, that's my guess. I might be confusing it with the National Circuit Autocross. But anywho. Alright, then the Cup for Tier 13 takes place at Dubai International Circuit. PR 93.1 required. All right, so the PR leaps a bit in these tiers. And it is going to be another four-lap cup. And that gets us to the final showcase tier featuring the last car, the King of the Hill, <laughs> Koenigsegg Yesco. And for Yesco showcase, we got speed record at Daytona Road Course. So that's a full lap. And the cup at Manza Road Course. And uh, we are continuing on with this four lap uh, format here. And the following tier, the Yesco Time Trial, is going to take place at Spa. And these guys are wrapping it up on oh, minute 33 for the fastest guy. That's, that's fast, alright. Alright, T13 
tier 16. That is uh, the 75% completion tier. We got head to head at Hockenheim Grand Prix. Endurance. Uh, let's see. Yes, yeah, single lap head to head. Endurance at Melbourne. And the cup at Bugatti Circuit. 93.1 is the PR requirement. And this one now we got five lap cups. Let's see. Wasn't the last one also 93.1? Yeah, so same PR requirement as P uh, tier 13, as it turns out. All right. And moving on, tier 17. We got Speed Snap at Dubai International. And Elimination at Mount Panorama. And the Cup at Silverstone Bridge Grand Prix. PR 95.1 required. Which uh, in my garage, I'll have to be, I'll have to use the Gera RS since that's the only car that I have in my garage in this series that meets the PR requirement currently. And yes, we're continuing on with the five lap uh, format, so that's gonna be a five lap cup. All right, tier, uh, tier 18. We got speed record at Suga Grand Prix, so that's a full lap. We got a drag race. Is that the second drag race in this series? All right, that's not too bad, only two. And this one takes place at Monza Road Course, and the cup is going to take place at Daytona Motorcycle Course, PR 96.2 required, which, yes, it is a five-lap cup, but it seems uh, I am 0.1 PR point shy with Aguera RS, unfortunately. So... That's about, uh, looks like three cup races, the three final cup races I'm not going to be able to do, but I should have, be able to unlock at least all the series. Um, tier 19, we got a Hunter at Hockenheim National, Autocross at Laguna Seca, and the Cup at Circuit of the Americas Grand Prix Circuit, PR 97.3 required. Uh, for this also the five lap cup so and then that takes us to the final tier tier 20 we got endurance at silverstone bridge grand prix elimination at spa and the final cup at catalonia grand prix pr 98.4 required all right so um for the let's see oh yeah the final cup at catalonia grand prix it's gonna be a six lapper so we get extra lap we gotta squeeze in now um since the yesco is the only card that can meet this pr requirement 90 um uh, 98.4 how much does it cost well if you have not put any upgrades on this car then it's gonna cost you some 985 gold to um, meet that PR requirement because you will have to max out engine and you will also have to max out drivetrain all four upgrades and then body this car you only need uh, to get four upgrades I believe or no you do need to max out body all five that's yeah that makes m more sense and then uh suspension uh you only need three you don't need to get the last one and the exhaust uh max it out all three upgrades there brakes you also max that one out and the uh, tires and wheels i believe you only need three upgrades there um, to meet the PR requirement of 98.4. Um, yeah, the 985 gold, right? What did I say? Here. Why not? Let's try it. So we'll max out The engine brings your PR up to 92.6 and drivetrain. I said up to third tier brings your PR up to 93.9. .9. 
and then the body i already have three upgrades here we'll max it out all five tiers pr 94.8 and then suspension we're gonna need to bring it up to tier three 96 is where we are and we need to bring uh, max out exhaust 97.4 and then uh, three upgrades on tires and wheels there we go so yeah so that would be the what you're gonna need max out engine all five upgrades drivetrain up to three upgrades body maxed out with all five and then essentially remaining categories all three upgrades across the board so i guess simply put max out engine and body otherwise all the other categories three upgrades once again for the cost of some 985 gold and 3.2 million racing dollars something like that so yeah so there you go exactly 98.4 pretty expensive considering what you get in return would be 400% completing it's gonna be like kind of a chump change right you get 33 gold back for spending like extra 700 in my case um so yeah eh. so anyway that will do it for the series overview the winner takes it all bonus series featuring Koenigsegg Yasko all right so hopefully you guys found the information useful and I'll probably try to make some progress through the series uh, next so stay tuned and we'll catch you guys in the next video all right take care